If you're interested in slap bass, you've likely watched videos of guys like Victor Wooten or Marcus Miller and thought, wow, they've got incredible sound and incredible slap bass technique. However, what you might not realize is that in addition to having great technique, these guys are often utilizing a couple of little secret slap bass things which help give them an incredible sound. And in this video, I'm gonna run through five of those secret things. And then at the end of the video, I'm gonna show you how you can incorporate those five secrets into your own playing. How's it going guys? Hugh Richardson from OnlineBassGuitar.com here. Just a quick one, if you are new to this channel and you're new to me, hi, welcome, good to see you. And if you do like what you see, consider subscribing and turning on the notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a video or go live. So we know some of the best slap players will utilize some secret tips and tricks within their slap playing to make themselves sound better. But the questions are, what are they actually doing? How do these secret things make a difference? And ultimately, which of these secrets should you actually be incorporating into your own playing. So secret number one is to add compression to your slap signal. As the name suggests, when a signal goes into a compressor, the compressor will squish it down like this. Now often a compressor can give a slightly sort of popping quality to the start of a signal that can make it sound a bit more percussive. Now the reason this is so good for slap is because it's a percussive technique that is all about articulating itself through a slightly more aggressive and percussive sound. And the popping quality you get from a compressor lends itself really well to articulating slap lines. So how does this actually sound. Well, here is an uncompressed slap line. And here's the same line, but run through a compressor. Now secret number two will sound a little bit counterintuitive, but the secret here is to actually play a little bit softer. On the surface of it, this makes no sense because slap, as we know, is a very percussive technique. So you might think the more pronounced you want your sound to be, the more you've got to really dig in and play hard like this. But if you are already using a compressor from secret number one, then you can use that compressor to get the kind of aggressive punch on your sound that you would get from playing hard. So secret number three is to use a preamp somewhere in your signal chain. This will give you an effect that's quite similar to what Marcus Miller gets from having the active Sadowski circuitry in his jazz bass. Adding a preamp pedal is gonna boost your EQ options, boost your presence in a mix. It's gonna make your signal a little bit hotter, a little bit more aggressive and just give you a much more authoritative sound. Okay, secret number four. Now this is very much a Victor Wooten thing and that is to use a fret wrap when you are playing. So for anyone who hasn't seen it, a fret wrap is kind of like a, a hairband in a way or a scrunchie as we call them here in the UK. It's basically like a little sort of circular bit of um, felt or material of some sort that basically sits over the neck like this and it acts as a kind of mute. You don't have to worry about your lack of plucking hand muting because the fret wrap's gonna cover it. And also if you're fretting hand, is gonna be moving about and doing a lot of dexterous stuff. You also don't have to worry about the lack of muting there because the fret wrap has got it covered. Before I forget, if you want more information on any of the products or things that I'm talking about in this video, there's links to all of it down below in the description. Then secret number five is gonna give your sound that sort of bright zingy quality. I've talked about this a couple of times on the channel before, but that is to use newer strings. So now we've seen what the secrets are, the question is which ones of these should you incorporate into your own playing? Now there's two parts to the answer here. The first part is that in order for you to decide which of these secrets would actually be beneficial to your playing, you need to actually try them out first. What we're talking about here is a type of sort of knowledge that you can only really gain and understand and ultimately exploit through experience. It's a case of you have to eat sugar to know the taste, so to speak. But once you've done that, you get onto the second part of the answer, which is really, you should just be following your ear and following your instinct. You should just be incorporating the ones that you actually personally like because ultimately these secrets are gonna be utilized for you to express the way that you play. 
So if you like compression, but you don't like the fret wrap, use compression, but not the fret wrap. If you love new strings, but you think that they sound awful as soon as you add a preamp, take the new strings, but get rid of the preamp. Now, if you've watched all of this video so far and you thought this has been really great, but I was hoping for some technical secrets and tips and pointers, don't worry, I've got you covered. Click this video up here and that'll take you over to my slap bass technique tutorial. It's an old video, but it does run through all the essential fundamentals of slap technique. And if you think I've missed any secrets or tips, or you want to add any of your own, please, please do leave them down in the comments. It's always great to chat to you guys and hear what you think. If you've enjoyed this video, consider subscribing and turning on notifications and I'll see you in another another lesson real soon. Take care.